Okay, when we deal with security, uh, we are dealing with people. I mean, you deal a lot more with people uh, than, than with technology. If you, if you think security is a technology problem and, and that technology will solve your problems, you don't understand security and you don't understand technology. Um, the people in the organization have certain responsibilities and we talked about that, but you, you know, need to give them a little bit of a hand here. You need to check up on them. You need to make sure that, uh, this is happening. And, and the, the way to do that is, is right at the beginning. Actually, there's, there's a lot of things and we're going to talk, uh, probably in the next, uh, clip about, um, some of the uh, policies, procedures, safeguards uh, specific to um, personnel and things like employment agreements and, and that sort of thing. But right off the top, when you are hiring, um, you need to do background checks. You need to verify uh, that these people are who they say they are that they have the qualifications that they say they have. Uh, you know, you, you do the interviewing thing and, and uh, you ask them, can you get along with people? And um, big surprise here, most people realize that the answer, the correct answer is not no. So, you know, they're gonna say that they get along with people, you need to, you need to check on that. And so you need to do, uh, you need to do background checks, you need to uh, check references, you need to verify education, and, and all that kind of good stuff. And this, it has to be done. Um, and it has to be done uh, diligently. Um, you are going to get uh, letters of reference from, well maybe you can get letters of reference. I mean, most letters of reference these days the only thing that companies are willing to say is so-and-so worked for us from start date to end date. Um, they're not willing to put their neck out to say very much else. You know, if, if you get a reference letter these days that actually does say, you know, so-and-so did a really good job and we were sorry to see him or her go, uh, you know, hire that person because they obviously made an impact at, at the former company because, you know, nobody's willing to to write those letters of reference anymore. So you've got to check the references. And in this regard, um, I, uh, this was a, a personal um, experience of mine. And uh, I uh, uh, was involved in, in a job search for a certain governmental institution. And, uh, well, I might as well say it's a, it's a city. Um, and the uh, in in the course of of dealing with this this process, I did some spot checking, and I found that eighty percent of the references were not being contacted. And so you know, here are you know people who are giving you references, and you're not contacting them. You're not checking up. You're not. Uh, you know, finding out whether or not what these people say about themselves is in fact true. Um, you know, getting some kind of a read uh, from people that they worked for or with or, you know, whatever. Um, you, you know, you need to check those references. You need to call those references. You need to talk to those references. So, uh, now this was, this was particularly interesting because this particular city um, had recently had a uh, quite a scandal because they had had a city treasurer you know the person in charge of the money and, you know basically the CFO for the city and the city treasurer it was found had had been defrauding the city had had been you know siphoning off money and and stealing from the city to the tune of a couple hundred thousand dollars a year i believe it was you know a fair amount of money and it had been going on for quite some time 
And when this was discovered, it was also discovered that the city treasurer had been an undischarged bankrupt. That means this is somebody who has gone bankrupt and they have not paid back all of the uh, uh, debts that they owed. Um, they, you know, uh, you know, they went, they went bankrupt, so there was no money, you know, and, and that was it. Um, uh, generally speaking, and you know, I, I bankruptcy proceedings go on and, and, you know, people sell things and that sort of thing. But anyways, this, this person had not paid off the debts. Now, one would think that that kind of situation, that, that, you know, qualification, that experience on the part of this person would be an automatic disqualification for that particular position. This is, again, you know, city treasurer. They, they are in charge of all the money. And, you know, you want to know that they, they deal properly with money. Well, you know, presumably, you know, the, the bankruptcy proceeding had been uh, because of a failed business. Do you, do you want your city to be a failed business? And, and then, you know, this is a person who has not taken enough care to get rid of those debts, to take care of those debts, to, to you know, make sure that when, when the business has to fold, that there's enough in reserve to, to pay off the people who are being owed. But no, no, undischarged bankrupt. That was, that was it for, for this particular person. And, and that was not checked. I mean, this is a matter of public record. This is not a hard thing to figure out. This is not, uh, you know, something that should have been a su surprise to anybody. Um, certainly not at, at that level of position. You know, this is a higher position where you take more care in terms of the references and you know finding out what you know that the background of this person you you know probably have things like you know criminal record checks and uh and you know civil record checks you know is is there you know undischarged debt for this person does this person owe money does it you know what are this person's finances and you know Obviously, nobody found that out. So, check the references. Do the checks. Check the education. Um, I, you know, <laughs> uh, I'm I'm dealing with uh, somebody right now who has extensive uh, qualifications, according to the implications of what he says. And and when you actually track it down, oh uh, no, that's not quite the level of uh, degree that he holds. That's not, you know, quite the the uh, institution. I don't. I, I can remember another one. This this was uh, uh, I want, we didn't hire this guy, but everybody was very excited about it, and they wanted me to to interview this guy. And I uh, looked at his resume, and I I said, I'm not sure that we we need this person. They said, No, no, he's fantastic. Look at all the projects. So I sat down with him, and I only had one question. Of all these projects, uh, proposals that you have written, because they were all proposals, did any of these projects actually run? Did any of them come to fruition? And he had to admit no. So, you know, I mean, that was, we didn't hire him. Um, you know, that was a pretty simple one. Check the background. Do some checks. Check the references. Check the education. You know, check. Do the, the reference checks. You need to do that.